And this raised questions beyond the legality of the order. The big reason why Governor Little has never imposed a statewide mask mandate. His main talking point has always been that these decisions should be made by local governments and school districts. McGeehan, who prides herself, of course, as an ultra conservative, felt that today's executive action was necessary and needed, especially when factoring in that a bill with similar goals earlier this year failed in the leg legislature. But the disconnect between the state's two highest ranking officers, which has been well documented, has left many confused tonight. For some perspective on that dynamic, here is former Idaho Governor Butch Otter talking about his interactions when he was second in command under then Democratic Governor Cecil Andrus. We set our own individual political agendas aside in in respect for what we needed to do for the state. And I would hope that's what all political leaders in Idaho, whether Democrat or Republican or whatever, would do. But even that doesn't hold up entirely. Back in 1987, when Lieutenant Governor Otter was acting as governor for a then out-of-state Governor Andrus, he vote vetoed a bill that would have raised Idaho's drinking age from 18 to 21. When Governor Andrus returned back home, he reversed that action and the drinking age was raised to 21. That was a Democrat-Republican dynamic. What we have now is an inter-party battle, one that most in the State House expect will only intensify as we get closer to the 2022 primary one year from now. Buckle up.